You are listening to a Cult Talk Network podcast. Welcome everyone to Call to Campbell. I'm Ty. I'm Eric. I'm Bailey. And Ben and Ursa are here too. We always tie. <laughs> <laughs> they were both like, wait, wait for it. Every, yeah, we do that every fucking time. Every time me and him are on a cast, it's always like, fuck, which one of us are going to say hello at the same time? And when are we going to say goodbye at the same time? Yeah, we, yeah, our audience may not know because of just how skillful we are at our intros. Uh, we don't plan the, the, the naming order. We don't know. Yeah. In, in, not listed in order of appearance. No, no. We just Importance. go right into it. Uh-oh. <laughs> so uh, it's Colttober. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy Colttober, everyone. And thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, Colttober is Colttober to the return. And in that, we have. <laughs> Wait, I didn't Colt- sign on to that byline. <laughs> the return. So that's, that's what the logo's been. <laughs> but it is also the We're return have to talk about of Colta Campbell. Yay. 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 After, after it's a long hiatus. It's back for Colttober. And you've got to see uh, Bruce in Time Warp and Bruce in Maniac Cop 2 and it's a comic book Bruce. And last Friday, you got to hear our review of the 1982 John Carpenter classic, The Thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And today, we have a companion piece to that movie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> the 2002. Was, I have never in my life heard somebody call a cancerous growth a companion. <laughs> <laughs> We are doing the 2002 Sci-Fi Pictures original, Bruce Campbell's Terminal Invasion. There's nothing original about it. <laughs> this is a, a movie that I fucking had a, a hard time finding. We actually yeah. had this on the list for last year's Cultober. Oh, did we really? Yeah, and we couldn't find it. We looked everywhere, couldn't find it. I finally had to bite the bullet and buy a used... DVD copy from a library for sixty dollars. Oh God bless. Gosh. God bless your sacrifice. Yes. <laughs> Think Thanks. of how many Mario DVDs you could have bought with that. That would have been actually <laughs> worth it I compared know. to this. <laughs> I just got two new copies in the day. Two. two and you know copies. what? Those two new copies are better than this movie. <laughs> it's uh, it's something. I, yeah, this this is this is something. I I don't even know how to even begin. I, this was. So this movie, aside from Bruce Campbell on it, uh, the only other notable thing is that it's directed by Sean S. Cunningham. Okay. Who is the creator of Friday the 13th. Oh, really? Yes. So that's the only other really notable thing. Oh, brother, you should have just, it, should have just taken has... your W and retired. Yeah, he really should have. <laughs> because he's, he's done some weird shit uh, since Friday the 13th. I, I remember there being another decent movie he did. I can't remember what it was. I remember a while back seeing a movie that he was a part of that was actually pretty good. It wasn't Terminal Invasion. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Terminal Invasion 2002. At one point, this movie was Sci-Fi Pictures' most uh, watched sci-fi original. Is that right? Yeah. At one, at one point. And because of that, we got doubly fucked because that led to them being able to do Man with the Screaming Brain. And then we had to watch that hot mess. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's That was um, what spurred them to sign a deal with Bruce to let him do uh, back-to-back originals. And from uh, that, we got Man with the Screaming Brain. And the other bargaining chip was uh, Alien Apocalypse. So. <laughs> that's right. I, I, I thought Alien Apocalypse was tied into this. What the yeah. fuck kind of hands of poker are they playing that these are bargaining chips? These are threats, you assholes. <laughs> man, studio politics in, in sci-fi, man. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's a tangled web we weave. It's a lot that channel was a lot different than it used to be. Is it? I, I, have, I think I think for worse. In my opinion. Really? Oh my god. Yeah, dude. I remember when I, sci-fi I love, I love was like fun movies. Sci-fi in USA, they kind of I feel like they hit their peak at the same time. They used to be like the two channels where if right. you liked anything cool or scary or awesome, it was on those two channels. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I yeah, would watch those some, when it was some of my favorite movies growing up were sci-fi and USA movies like yep. King Cobra mm-hmm. and Python oh, okay. and Mosquito. Just all, all these <laughs> giant like mosquito. Creature, cre- uh, creature features were just movies I loved and sci-fi and USA always had them. They even yeah. had like really weird like uh, low budget action movies like Roddy Piper and shit that I like. <laughs> hey, they live but, as kind of a low budget action oh, yeah. of Roddy Piper. I, I love, they live, I love just about anything Roddy Piper does but I met him once like 
a year before he passed away. Oh, really? nice. It was, it was a good time. But <coughs> the uh, Terminal Invasion, it actually premiered September 14th, 2002. 84 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank is, God. Uh, That's the best thing about it. <laughs> yes. It's uh, directed by Sean S. Cunningham. I saw the play line on that. Play yeah. time on that. I was like, oh my, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Still no, no, felt no. like longer, didn't it? <laughs> it did feel like longer. I watched this uh, two days ago. Don't remember much of it. Not this much of was, it stuck, uh, huh? written. I can't find anything on the writers. They're, they actually don't have IMDb links. But it took three people to write this screenplay. Oh, yep, there yep, it is. Yep. That's yeah, that people. explains that so, explains a lot. I did comment on on how just disjointed this was. It's I I had I theorized like I think the writers wrote a comedy and then either the director or the editor really wanted to make this something more serious. Right. And it just really came across very yeah. Totally there was off. there were so many like out of place just one liners that I was like what the actual fuck is happening <laughs> like when she looked at him and this is gonna be totally out of context for our listeners but when she looked at him and went some people's kids I was like you fuck off <laughs> <laughs> like he just had this horrific scene and she's like some people's kids it's like I Wait, just how is there eight people in a fucking airport and you have no idea whose kids these are <laughs> because okay because. Because they are lying to you, Ursa. Those are their kids. The film knows it's their kids. The actors know it's their kids. The script knows it's their kids. But for some reason, they're trying to gaslight us into this not being their kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, they run to, the kids run to them when stuff happens. They pick them up and cradle them when they're sad through the entire flick. And then all right. of a sudden, they're like, wait, they're not our kids. And you're, I don't, no, lying as sack as of shit. Yeah, as soon as they're introduced, the kids are just like there with them. Like, yes, like, they're, they're introduced like sitting right next to them. Yeah, well, they're, they're like, like running around a like. table, but they're the, the ones yelling yells at the kids. And I really thought that's when I thought it was his kids. Right? That's yeah, who would that's yell exactly at what that somebody else's like. kids in a yeah like a public setting. Right. Like and he didn't just yell at them like somebody get your fucking like he didn't reference the parents at kids, all. Adults are talking here, right? It's come like, on, it sounds come like on. a parent thing. Although it does explain. Uh, his wife's reaction to him being a little more reasonable because she looks at him yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, those are your kids. He's trying to... <laughs> yeah, but she's kind of a cut anyway, so what difference does it make? You just think she's being bitchy. Oh, geez. Uh, so, do you guys want to just like get into it? You guys want to start talking about Alien Apo uh, shot, Goddamn. Terminal Invasion. Terminal <laughs> Invasion. This, this whole podcast He's is just going to be a like dumpster movies. fire. Yeah, yeah, Let I'm me just run I'm through the list real quick. More of enjoyable movies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let me just run through the list real quick of people responsible for this <laughs> thing. Yeah. Of uh, course, directed by Sean S. Cunningham, starring Bruce Campbell and Chase Masterson. Music by Henry... God damn these names. I forgot about this part of things. Harry Manfredini, and that's all I'm trying. A lot of producers. Cinematography by Rudolph. The Red Nose Reindeer. Blahake. Cinematography. Blahake. Yep. And the editor was Patrick McMahon, which I, I don't know if I approve of Mr. Patrick McMahon as an editor. Those I, I don't. I'll tell you why I don't. And it's going to cause... Uh, spoiler alert for everybody on my thoughts. That editor is going to cost Bruce the groovy from me. Oh, oh. Because there were several times where they had his shots of him like saying something but he was very clearly looking off off side to somebody and then he would turn and say his line and they didn't edit out the part of him like looking over and then turning his head back to the right. scene <laughs> the fuck are you doing man cut that shit oh for sure oh this Movie had a lot of things good cut about <laughs> about thir about thirty minutes. It could have cut off. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah. Like I was done after about an hour. Those transitions were fucking terrible. Oh, they maybe out of the whole God. movie. God damn, those they only had two actual like decent transitions. Like why the fuck are there swooshes? The back why? the back fucking dissolves while they're crawling around in the ceiling for twenty minutes. <laughs> no, the worst one. The worst one was the the the. Jump to her in the locker. Oh Lord, yeah. The oh, transition yeah. where she's like standing I think there. They just lost coverage there. They just didn't have any footage to cover her going to it. That was so. <laughs> well, thank God they. It, 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 at, at the very least, it ended that stupid ass fucking bit where they were. Well, oh, here. I don't know what camera I'm looking at. Where are you? <laughs> well, here, let's talk about it in our next segment, ladies and gentlemen. 
Let's get groovy. Grab your broomstick and fire up the Delta. It's time for ACTION. The Cult of Campbell. Groovy. And if you're lucky a little later, I'll let you play with my food stick. Terminal Invasion. Woo. When is the uh, the first time I ever watched this? I'm going to come I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that's watched it before this point. Uh, the first <laughs> time I watched this was on Sci Fi Channel. And I remember having like fond memories of it just because of what represented, you know, a sci fi channel original. It was like, that's like my co- my warm, cozy spot. Uh huh, of course. But I remember even as a kid, like not being that, that, that uh, <laughs> that impressed by it. it. <laughs> but just the idea of like a sci fi channel original and it being on all the time, like maybe you want to get it. And it had Bruce Campbell in it. And I own the other two sci fi originals they did. So I was like, yeah, I'll get this. And uh, I'm, I'm relieved that the, because, for a while, what was happening was we'd we'd pick a movie to do. I'd bite the bullet. I'd buy it <laughs> for for way more than what I want to spend. Uh-huh. And then and then within a week or two, Michael or Urs or someone would find it on YouTube, or it or it pop up on Amazon Prime Video for free. So luckily, that didn't happen this time. There you go. Didn't Yet. happen this time. I checked on Amazon. Oh, you found the rip of it. Just yeah. yesterday, oh, yeah, just see? yesterday, me and Urs were talking while we we're waiting on the uh, recording to start, and he's clicking around on his computer. He's like, "Oh, I found the rip here on on a uh, website." <laughs> oh God! <laughs> see, I, I, that helps us find it. It's that's you just got to stick to the trend, man. Once you yeah. buy it, then we'll find it. Well, we don't have any more after this. No you, more. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But there we. Uh, that was the first time I ever watched it. Well, you guys, I mean, is this pretty much unanimous for you guys have ever heard of it or even watched it? First time I've ever heard of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. had never, I don't think anybody else has seen no. it before. For me, for me, Ben and Bailey, it was today. Um, and oh boy, what an experience. <laughs> it was you fun. Tell it was a TV It was fun movie, enough. Definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was commercial breaks. Commercial breaks, yeah. exactly. And then there, there's one character that you can tell that really, uh, really ages the movie. You can tell it's one of those late 90s early 2000s movies because of one of the way one of the characters portrayed i felt like oh um uh our our, our african-american character darian darian yeah i felt like that was very dated representation of it oh i get you character. yeah <laughs> that was yeah that was very dated uh a very dated representation i don't know i thought it was like that they had the one black guy talking to the three white people about slavery <laughs> At, yeah, gu- at yeah. gunpoint. <laughs> at gunpoint. I like... Oh, I'll get to it when we get to that point. But uh, this also had a character... I uh, had an actor that I recognized. And I couldn't figure out where I recognized from until I was able to IDB it. The the soldier guy, Sergeant Griffin. Sergeant Griffin. Yeah. He uh, he was a correspondent on The Daily Show. Oh! oh. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Jason so Jones. I, I knew I recognized him. And he's been like a couple other things. Like he popped up. He's... He's Wait, one of those like so he's a sergeant. Will Ferrell movies and stuff. That's what it says here on Sergeant Griffin. Okay, because yeah. when God, this is how bad dialogue was when Bruce or somebody calls him General. Yeah, it yeah, was, Bruce. It was uh, Bruce. Character. Okay, when he calls him General, yeah, like facetious or something. Like, yeah, he, I guess he was, but I couldn't fucking tell. Sounds like something I'd do. I would, a guy would call somebody in a military suit and like an airport, a charter airport, on a fucking weekend. <laughs> I would definitely call him a general. Uh, I understand that, okay, Ursa. General. But the, di- <laughs> the difference is, is that I believe that when you do it, he would know that you're insulting him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy and the audience had no idea what Bruce was talking about. Okay. And I- I'm going to cut in with an unrelated question here because it really only just sank in what Bruce Campbell's character's name was. Jack? Simply Jack. How many times has he played a character named Jack now? At least twice. Uh, can we get a Jack tally going? Because 
and Holy I want to and I want to know we if we have to have a jack off to see. We, we don't have to have a jack off to see. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. leaving. <laughs> well, we know, we know he has a TV series, The Jack of All Trades. He was Jack and yep, Matt. Jack and so Matt. I want to know: Did he also in those roles where he played a guy named Jack say you don't know Jack? Because I bet he did. Oh my gosh, he, oh, he, he did. He did in this one. one. That, I know that, he did it in this one. That was that was the hook of Jack, like the opening theme song. That was like the way it ended. Oh my you don't gosh, no. <laughs> Jack. That was like the way it ended. <laughs> and then he said it in this one, right? <sighs> yep, he said it in that one. I, I hope. Piece. Uh, I right. hope so oh, he, was, he was Jack Forrest in Maniac Cop. My God, you're <laughs> on to something. I'm getting a notebook. He was... I'm going through his... Tomography here. It doesn't look like that many. I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the early 2000s right now. <laughs> I mean, we've already I hit see, three. Uh, three. Yeah, we got two right now. Three. Yeah, we got three. three. Terminal Invasion. Terminal Invasion. Jack of all Jack trades, all trades, and what? Oh, what was the other one? Uh, Maniac cop. Maniac cop. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, he wasn't Jack uh, in some movie. I mean, some TV show called Beggars and Choosers in two thousand one. His he name was Jack. He was just simply Jack in that. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> uh, and that is it. Are you, okay, so he wasn't Jack in like a Alien Apocalypse or something. No. Dang it. <sighs> oh, he was uh, Doctor Ivan Hood. Ivan Hood, right? That's no. right. Ivan. Because he was named after Ivan Reed. Right, <laughs> okay, so, so only four. All right, I guess I wasn't four. as onto something as I thought. I thought we almost had a um, guest appearance from uh, Alien Apocalypse or uh, No Moon Trap in this movie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I really was. Oh. The coffee machine was also going to be a soup the machine. Coffee <laughs> soup machine. You're right. Oh. Uh, that oh, would have ben been great. On that one. Ben, ben and Bailey have no idea what the hell we're talking about. No, no. there was a and, and main and uh, moon trap. There was a machine in in the the break room. Apparently, these were real things in the eighties. <laughs> it was a chocolate uh, hot chocolate coffee soup dispenser. Yep, and we had were one nozzle had one <laughs> nozzle. Just the you one. Pick yep. you know, chocolate, coffee, or soup to come out of it. Yep. <laughs> what kind of soup? That was a real thing. Was a real <laughs> it doesn't machine. matter. Like coffee, chocolate, soup. Yeah, <laughs> coffee, chocolate, soup. Just like. it was coffee. <laughs> I mean, we, so it couldn't. So it couldn't have that. chunk, right? So it'd either have to be chicken broth or what? Tomato. Tomato, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah. Tomato. tomato bisque. Think, That's what I was thinking. Like tomato bisque. It had to be. Uh, like even that. bisque might be too chunky. I think. I was gonna say. Yeah, I think true. the bisque. I think it just have to be straight tomato. Tomato. Yeah, and just. It's thin so tomato great. soup. Ew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we, t- I think we talked about that for a good 20 minutes. On, I on wonder, does it have too. multiple yeah. nozzles? No, no, just oh, one. no. It all came through one nozzle. That is, one that, nozzle. Is a, that is a goddamn salty cup yeah. of coffee. Although I want to try to find a shirt that says chocolate coffee soup. <laughs> we we, we'll we make did you spend win. a long time because I, I think we, we watched that together. Like we actually yes. watched it at my house. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all got on like line. We're looking at. <laughs> we were. We were really <laughs> obsessed yeah. with it. With it. Yeah, we it, got, it took up a lot of our time. <laughs> it did. And it, really it might did. take up a lot of our time here in Toronto. Vegas. I know. We just like <laughs> we can just make it about. part of our merch line, <laughs> right? You, you, know, yeah. you know what's funny? You know what's funny? A little connection here. Moon Trap. The only reason we watched that last year for Cult Tober is because we couldn't find Terminal Invasion. Oh, it seemed like it was the better move. <laughs> yeah. I, mm, I don't know, man. Going, going. I would have rather watched Terminal Invasion than Moon Trap. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Moon Trap was bad. I, I was oh, not. Yeah. That was. This was better than me. you guys. Are so lucky. <laughs> 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 this is actually yeah. the better. Tra- I'm actually more grateful now for Terminal Invasion. The, remembering the only, the only Moon Trap. Thing, the only good thing about Moon Trap was that Bruce died 45 minutes in, and we skipped the rest of the movies. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only. Yes. It was the like, best thing about Moon Trap. Well, no, no, because if we're gonna if we're gonna use that as the metric for good, then Minnow's mind was even better. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Because we made it like what 15? <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, so I mean. That can't oh, be the, the metric. Yeah, true. <laughs> but it All was right, about so, yeah. So Terminal Invasion opens uh, with a very confusing, bad CGI, uh, I guess, trip through the, the stars. Is that what we're going through space? I think so. Like through the sky and then it comes yeah, down to and Earth. The reason it's confusing is because I don't know if you guys paid attention to where we landed on the Earth. It looks like we landed somewhere in like South America. Oh my god! Because <laughs> because the ship like the the POV comes in the <laughs> bottom of the Earth, but we find out later we're like somewhere in like upstate. Like I don't know. <laughs> They're hey, like listen, two hours away from Canada. Something? Listen, yeah. Upper Wyoming and Colorado looks exactly like Machu Picchu. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I took note of that because I was like, wait, is this take place in like Antarctica? Oh, no. God, it was like oh, no. they borrowed the scene from Predator and fucked that up too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that maybe that is what they were doing. Maybe I I oh my gosh I going for. that is so I don't know funny. this movie's got that. so much borrowing from yeah. other other things. You know, you know mm-hmm. what my favorite part is my favorite part's coming up though. So we get we we come in the earth. It's a snowy storm. Yeah, there's a SUV that we see has a uh, uh, two cops and Bruce or yeah or two two guards or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> they they blow their tires. They hit a tree. Which by the way that. That car wreck was not even from that movie. Oh yeah, oh, I know. I, what was it from? It was from the movie The Long Kiss Goodnight. They just oh CGI'd the they CGI'd <laughs> the snow and CGI'd the front of the Volvo from A Long Kiss Goodnight into making it look like an SUV. Jesus and use Christ. the footage. And use the footage. <laughs> well, oh, that's why that terrible snow yeah. overlay was so thick. Oh gosh, I know. It just was like a whole Probably. layer of snow over top Don't of... Don't use... Yeah. Listen, guys. Don't use snow overlays. No. Yeah, not if you're trying to make anything Especially serious. Especially if you're, you're having it camera never works. movement. It never I mean, works. the camera's zooming in, and the snow doesn't change. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> it looks like those claymation mm. um, uh, movies, you know. Oh my God, this movie movie looked more like a claymation in other parts later. Yeah. Oh, Oh, God. (laughs) Even better in claymation. Luckily for our survivors of the car accident, which all three survived. They, they, they set off on yep. foot, and luckily there is a matte painting of an uh, airport. <laughs> Waiting for them to come <laughs> in. Hey, you it's know what? I, oh, can so almo- you I, can almost, I can almost respect uh, the matte painting because I no, do. I, I love matte paintings. I, I love matte paintings of movies. I would give a nut. That. I would give a left nut for Buena Vista style, like old painting animated again. Yeah. Like yes. like yeah. the rescuers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, we, we have something like that coming up here uh, next Friday. Yeah. Friday. Yes. Ooh, yes. Friday. Yes. Ooh. Yes. The Halloween, Halloween tree. tree. <gasps> I'm yes. so Yay. fucking excited for that because of that very reason. Yes. Because Michael showed me five, five seconds of the trailer and I was like, I'm down. Yeah. Where yep. is- yeah, He's it's pumped. a magical fucking movie. I've been, I, ha- I, Took all the Colttober movies on my collection and like set them in a basket by my TV just so I'd like have everything to get out when it came time to watch them. And I've been like just eye in that fucking Halloween, t- uh, that Halloween tree DVD I have done that. I think just I rubbing think, your palms. I together. think it's probably good. I, I almost feel like it's probably gonna be one that's gonna end up in my collection as well. It's pretty cheap online. I bought it for five dollars. It's like it's ten dollars now, but because of you know inflation, but Adam, I bought it for five dollars right. like the day after. Mike and our friend Butter showed it to me. They kept telling me, "Oh, you gotta watch this. You gotta watch this." So they finally set me down. We watched it, and I went on Amazon. I was like, I gotta have that. So uh, <laughs> I, bought, I bought the book. I bought the book too. So that's gotta be. I actually think that's probably my yeah. most anticipated thing of this cult tober. It's gotta be that Halloween yeah. tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. I'll yeah. be reading the book uh, this yeah, coming I've week. Got, yep. I, uh, I downloaded yep. the Audible dramatization of the book. Oh, Ooh. fucking sweet! I know what yeah, I'm doing. So, uh, I love those. I'm that work. I'm, I'm waiting till. I even got a spare closer credit to, to do it with. <laughs> yep. I'm waiting till closer to uh, the time recording to listen to it. It's only like two hours long. So I'm waiting till like closer to the time we record. That way I can. Yep. That's uh, what I'll be doing. Mind. But anyways, so, we were just, we were just eager to talk about better movies. We yeah. are. Yeah. That, this they get, this they movie does do this, that. Uh, this airport. Now this airport is, uh, I, I, I don't know really what qualifies an airport, but this has got to be like, <laughs> Just over the qualifications <laughs> to be uh, called an air. Well, I think it's it's a charter airport, so yeah. it's just like yeah. yeah I was gonna say a I, private company that runs out of. It. I've it's landed like, I've landed in a charter airport once before, because <laughs> coincidentally enough, because of a snowstorm, and they're fucking tiny in Canada. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Canada, as a matter of fact. But what was interesting about this particular charter airport is it seemed to get. Bigger when they needed yeah. it to. It was yeah. never ending. Yeah, <laughs> we were we were introduced to our um, cast of nobodies, a whole bunch of characters. Yeah. Now this movie, you know, we we just watched a thing where it's you know, uh, once again a small group of characters trapped in a storm with an alien threat. Right. Now the main difference here is that everyone in this movie are fucking idiots <laughs> and assholes. <laughs> yes. And that's assholes to a asshole. man. Idiots and assholes. That, Absolutely. That's like if if you if. You are in uh, that is like a, a hell. You're in you're in hell, surrounded by these people. <laughs> I know because not one of them has any like qualities where you're like, oh, I like that character. 
Right. None of them. Not a one. No, you're right. It, it boggled my mind. I couldn't believe it. But we uh, we watched fucking Terminal uh, Alien Apocalypse. Where everyone was fucking Bulgarian and dubbed over. There's even <laughs> likable characters in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've seen- I, like, I like the Aryan. <coughs> I thought that I thought that guy was actually a good actor. The the black guy. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought he was. I liked him for probably the wrong reasons, but I did I did enjoy when he was on screen. I I liked him because he was the one person in the whole group who like wasn't arguing about anything. He wasn't he trying was to pick rapping. a fight. Yeah, he was just like, nope, nope, I'm stuck in the middle of an alien. He was rapping, yes, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was he was the only one that had a human reaction, uh, yeah. which is hilarious because he's a fucking alien. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Human reaction in the way that you know, like you know, all oh, damn dog word, you know that that was. Listen, I'm not arguing about the quality of his dialogue, <laughs> just the reactions. But itself. where everyone else was kind of just wrapped up in like their marriage or their business meeting, <laughs> right? Like he they was actually like, like you know, married couple. Oh my god, they were the worst. They were the worst. Every goddamn time, I'm so were, pissed like, that even one of them. There, there's, there's a scene that comes up later where I was like, they are doing this now. Like this is yeah. yeah. No, I'll tell you, I know the scene you're talking about, but I'll tell you the scene where I had it like over the top where I was like, listen, you guys need to try to write these at least like fucking people is when they're like, hey, right. do, do you think you could upgrade us to first class? Oh my, yeah, that, that. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. So, I don't believe that an, even an asshole would ask that. Yeah. So in, in this, in this airport, there's that, this charter airport. There are uh, Darian, who's a rapper. Uh, there is uh, David Higgins, I believe. Yep, David Making Higgins. Sure this is, he's he's the uh, is he businessman? Bo- business guy. I'm pretty yep, sure. he's we businessman. Have Phillips. We have the Phillips who are Andrew and Sarah who are played by Andrew and Sarah. Oh my That's God, you're right. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Why? <laughs> you mean they kept their names? They kept their first names. Yeah, they kept their first names. <laughs> wow. It's Andrew Tarbot and Sarah Loeffler. Oh, Whatever. I don't care about your names because you clearly don't either. And they become <laughs> Andrew and Phillips. Hey, there's and a Andrew cl- and Sarah Phillips. To be well, to be fair, there was a couple of times this movie didn't give a shit about the people. Oh my names. god, I know, right? Oh my god. Did you catch the one time where the security guard referred to the dead woman as that one lady? <laughs> or, or like what's, what's her, her face? What's her yeah, name? What's, what's her name? name? <laughs> the lady with the nice tatas. Yeah, <laughs> dude, she didn't have any tatas. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that that is Jesus. that is Gloria. I think they, I think they miscast. Oh, that was Gloria. That wasn't Gloria. That was Gloria. Angie. Oh no, oh, Gloria was Angie. yeah. Gloria, Gloria was, was the older Gloria woman. Was the old woman, yeah. 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 Who was Dell? Dell. I don't know. Chuck. Was, Chuck. It Burn took me forever for who fuck Stephen was. I, I think. I think Dell was the. Uh, <laughs> is he the security Maybe guard? The uh, security guard. Oh, he Maybe. might be. I, I just oh, I forgot about him. What did I? Yeah, what did too. I call him? I called. Oh, I called him Fudge Ripple. That's what I was. <laughs> also Stephen. I don't know who the fuck Stephen and Dell were. Stephen was the guy that was standing behind Angie in the beginning. Stephen's oh. actor's name is Stephen too. Oh my oh. god! Oh, wait, no, that was the soldier that was standing behind him. I don't. So know. that was yeah. Jason. I don't know who the yep. fuck Stephen was either. Oh Stephen and Dell. God. Let me see a picture. You got a picture? I, maybe oh, Stephen. The, the kids? Maybe? No. no he didn't. <laughs> The, uh, the wiki page doesn't even have his picture. Oh, yeah, the kids are aren't even you? listed. Uh, there's also Reverend Callahan. Yep. And our, our two cops, uh, Officer Red and Officer Thomas, <laughs> who are who are transporting Jack, who's a murderer. Murderer. Yep. Murderer. And yep. Uh, God, these people. Can you guys hear that? Mm-mm. No. Yeah. Can you hear our dog? Yeah. <laughs> Gypsy's whining. <laughs> So this is one of those movies uh, that does a really cheap thing with their aliens. A lot of cheap things with aliens. But one of the most infuriating things is so uh, so Jack tells the officers he has to use the restroom. Right. And they escort him into the restroom. And in the restroom is uh, our Reverend Callahan. Reverend Callahan. Mm-hmm. Who turns out is an alien. And he kills both the officers. Yes. One of the officers shoots him dead. He falls to the ground and uh, evaporates, clothes and all. <laughs> yep, just dissolves into goo. Everything. Yeah, like, the clothes too. You're right. Yep. Yeah, the everything. And then, like even like the puddle of stuff that would have been there evaporates. <laughs> yep. Well, it yeah, you can't. Disappears. They don't have that kind of budget. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have the technology to not evaporate the clothes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I'm pretty sure they had the technology to goo. Do you think they could have gooed if they wanted to? I, I think they could have. Goo. 
I think they could have gooed. I don't think cared enough to goo. That's the thing. That they I think, might I, not I don't know. To I feel like this movie was a lot of <laughs> yeah, just fucking make this movie. I don't know. That's what it felt like to me. We're just gonna have Hank uh, brute force it for two weeks and yep. just just him by himself, leave him locked up. He'll be fine. I feel like I feel like uh, this movie was probably like filmed like in an actual you know decommissioned. Uh, charter plane, uh, I'm not even charter plane, like some kind of fucking like warehouse. Yeah, yeah. And, and craft services was those fucking snacks that got out of the vending machine later in the movie. <laughs> yeah. And they they shot it over like course like three days and got the fuck out. How much nice. how much money in vending machine candy do you think they spent before he broke that fucker open? <laughs> right? Seriously, like, what is going on? That's here? what I said. It's like it's, how did they? It's another thing from Jurassic Park where they're eating all the fucking sweets. And then they trail up to that. Yeah, yeah. But that's actually a very poignant scene, though, because it shows that the rich white businessman... Don't you use this fucking words. And the middle class African-American man can find common ground. Oh, my gosh. That's what that scene was for. If that's That's the case, then... That's how we fix racism, guys. There we go. You you stick the races (laughs) in a charter plane, you let an alien loose... (laughs) <laughs> we'll, come, we'll, come, we'll come together. And we'll be singing, we're all in this together. No. My God. I don't. And you'll, all, you'll also fix marriages. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And become. The, and, and become uh, I can't the be- alpha I female. I can't believe we, uh, we went that I, I, can't I, be- I can't I, believe we went that long without talking about that. I me. shot up out of my fucking chair. I was like, you're making us all look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Shut Eric, the fuck up. me and Eric, we were both just like, what? Jeez, it was just such a bad line. <laughs> yeah, For context, it was just it, like it was terrible. Th- there's no context. Yeah, she's got so, the guns, and she's yeah, like giving I'm the not, speech, yeah. and then yeah, says these, these guns are constantly shuffling around. And being oh my god, set down on shelves. Can we can we talk about how long Bruce? Sets the gun down on the counter. Oh, when to, he's changing? Yeah, to yes. literally drop his pants. In a room full of like 20 people. The gun down. And I was, they're all just watching. I like, was oh getting God, an anxiety so attack. I was like, grab it. Okay, Captain, pilot, whatever. Grab the gun. He's literally got his pants down. You got it with his pants <laughs> down. Grab the gun. <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, Jack, while well, the... The alien reverend kills both the the cops. Yeah, and Jack We're back takes the both the guns. Yeah, comes out, and of course, everyone is like, "Oh, you killed those cops and the reverend." Yeah, you know, it's a classic mix-up. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I know well, it's now, like because it's, it's, the alien like dissolved. That. Jack is free. Yeah, Jack yep. is free, just like that. Things have just turned around in his favor. Yeah, and he's got a plan. He wants the pilot woman to take him and uh, fly him to Canada for some reason. Because he Canada. He wouldn't be safe there. It's not like they wouldn't be like, oh, your ass is going back to the United States. <laughs> no, no, that's not how it works. Yeah, especially like a murder. <laughs> right, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. Yeah, as, soon, as soon as you cross the border, everyone's like, hey. oh, all right. Fuck, he's all the yeah, way over there. Another one. Yeah. You beat us. You beat us. <laughs> Gosh, you did it. <laughs> but that's how it works in <laughs> movies, anyways. We don't even know how to get to Canada. Da, da, da. Yep. <laughs> no. But luckily, they were transporting him just like. A mile across the border, though, so that that's good, right? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It helps. Yeah. So the uh, so what happens here? So the pilot, not a whole lot. Well, he's got yeah, he's got control of the situation for a little bit, and then he's shuffling around three guns. Yep, yep. Right. They they wait until after he's back to being prepared to attempt to do anything. So, oh, security guard, um, possibly no. Dell tackles him, <laughs> and a woman gets shot. <laughs> Gloria, yeah, or by, no, it wasn't Gloria. It's Angie. By the by, Angie. by the businessman. Yeah, she's yeah. Like, no, I, she, no, the businessman shoots the, the businessman kills the uh, soldier. The yeah, yeah. So she uh, gets shot and, and apparently killed. And although is doing some very orgasmic hyperventilating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but thankfully, to avoid any moral dilemma, it turns out that she was an alien all along. Yep. <laughs> I know, like how fucking. Oh my God! God forbid there's some depth or ambiguity to our hero's status as such. Know. That would just no. be fucking crazy. <laughs> I just love how she kept walking, even as an alien, kept walking to toward the firing bullet and didn't think they were gonna die. Well, it's like unloaded until you know, then then she finally because it's zombie rules apparently, even though they're yes. alien goo did things. The, did the Reverend get you shot? You have to in shoot the him in the head. Yes, he, he did. did. Okay, yeah, yep. he got bashed in the head by a. Fire. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, he got fire yeah. extinguisher. Okay. Yeah, break the brain, you kill the body. Apparently, just like zombies. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now we do have one hope in this whole thing. That's because luckily there is a 
a good old fashioned hard boiled American soldier. Oh yes, mm-hmm. and he's going to take initiative and he's going to hike out of there. He's going to find help and get shot in the face by the businessman. Yep, yep. yep. When, when he <laughs> suddenly decides to grow some balls, apparently yep. for some reason over business meetings, and grabs a gun and tries to turn things around, but and shoots uh, shoots the service man in the face. Yep, who turns out to be. A human. A human. So he just committed murder in front of everybody. Yep. And now he's just such a... See, what a cop-out. It's like they both did the same thing, really. And yeah, you just couldn't have Bruce do it. Yeah, yeah. Bruce is just, top build. You can't even kill him, guys. Right. You can just kill alien women. Even though he's a murderer. Well, okay, <laughs> this this movie has no balls whatsoever. Yeah, you're as right. The way they yeah. handle the kids. Like, that oh, was so right. oven mitt yeah, safe. Yeah, because that's, that's something we forgot to mention. There's two... Oh yeah, two, two kids, kids running, running around. around. Yeah. No, there are two kids that belong to the people that are arguing. <laughs> they are having marriage problems <laughs> Un- until it becomes Unt- uh, convenient for it not to. Yeah, the until they decided to put them up for adoption and just went, "What? Our kids? No, we were going to drop them <laughs> off in a fucking cardboard box outside the airport. We don't know whose kids they are. We got snowed in, motherfucker. We tried to speed out of here. <laughs> I was convinced there was a nanny missing. <laughs> I was just convinced. I, yeah, I, see, like I thought, kind of like Glor. I guess it kind of makes sense later. Gloria, I guess I thought she was like the nanny, but no, I she's just she a random right, lady you know, there with just, no, with not. No, I she, think was she, was she worked. Yeah, yeah, she worked. Yeah. No, I thought there. Angie. I thought Angie no, that's, was that's the nanny. That's who I meant. Angie is the yeah. one that's. Oh just yeah, the the yeah, one that supposedly like had would have been a little more tore up about it. Right. <laughs> Their yeah, alien nanny later. thing. Yeah. Their alien nanny. <laughs> happens later because we do have a we do have to keep with uh, you know, well, copying movies. Are they even later. kids? Really? No, I guess they took the form of kids. I I don't know. I don't pretty know pretty who, sure what the rules are. Yeah. Who, who, That's the one thing really is go over we don't get well. any no. sort of explanation. People just really. kind of. People just kind of turn to aliens when it's convenient to the plot, and there really isn't any rhyme or reason. No, yeah. we, don't, we, we, we don't know when these people were ever turned no, the, or the, how they were turned. The head alien, I clocked him r- earlier. Oh yeah, I yeah, pointed out did. that he was the. Al- yeah. I said he was an alien when they were eating junk food. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I said, did. I said they're all. I said everybody's a fucking asshole, but this guy I said he's the only one that's like calm and chill. And I went, oh shit, he's an alien. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Which, I don't get why, if you're like the lead alien, why are you like feigning some energy in some room after you've suspected they've already left? I, I don't right. Know. Like, and then, and why do you turn into a case. British Bond villain at the end of the whole thing? I right? know. <laughs> Seriously. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Why do you so, shoot uh, another one of your so own kind? As, as you know, with uh, the thing, we have that iconic scene where, you know, we have all of our survivors yeah. in one room. We That's have to find point. out who is the humans, who are the aliens. And they have the iconic scene of you know cutting the blood, testing it with the the, the heated coil, and you know <laughs> uh-huh. find out who the aliens was. Well, this movie has <laughs> to find an equivalent to that. Yes, which I thought was actually the more the uh, clever thing from the do. Uh, yeah, I think this uh, as far I, as I think, that, I think it worked. The uh, visual yeah, goes, the it was one of the more clever things. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. We find out that you know this airport, like most airports, and this is a post nine eleven movie, so they have security of some kind. Even though it is just a fat, pudgy guy who's afraid to shoot people and a baggage machine. <laughs> yep. They still have to have some form of security. And they have apparently the top of the line baggage. Well, well yeah, this thing, thing. this thing is so fucking top of the line, it detects art of, uh, aliens. It detects yes. Yeah, alien and life. sets off a fucking alarm well, for it. 9 11 oh, happened just a year ago. We got to be prepared for it. Those yeah. weren't the type of aliens we were scanning so for, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> You got to be prepared for anything. <laughs> we were we were a very vulnerable country at that time, so we had to be prepared for the next threat was on the horizon. It was a scary time, so we had to. So they have a, a baggage X ray machine, and yep. their plan is to one by one, everyone's going to go through the uh, the baggage thing. Now, isn't this where the rich ass I and mean, the asshole couples yep. try to bargain? They'll for really go first, it if they get first class tickets, I, yep. And I love it. that even. I hope that this was something left in from one writer, and then the other writer put in the response where it's like, "It's a charter; they're all the same seats." <laughs> <laughs> I really hope this was one writer calling the other writer a dumbass. The, the <laughs> thing that gets me about these characters, all of them, is for a a group of supposedly normal adults people. Yeah, adults. They they take people dying around them very well. Yeah, 
Because at this point, five people have died. So that's because they're all selfish. Well, the yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. because they're all on some form of like LSD trip, and they're not actually attached to reality. They have yeah. no idea what the fucks. The woman couldn't even exp- get them to understand that ice make plane not fly. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Is it money?" And she's like, "No, it's ice." Shut it down for weather. <laughs> yeah, but one hundred percent believe that. <laughs> I 100% believe that. Yeah. And then she even says she she eventually she's like, "No, it won't fly in this weather. It's it the wings are frozen and they're just like, if it's about money." And it's like, "No. <laughs> it's like winter make wing it's not it's good. Weather. It's weather. <laughs> weather. Who do we got to pay to change it?" Like, <laughs> I think that was the most believable part of this movie. Flipping out over that. No, I, I mean, you're d- not d- wrong. Titled white people and just being like you know, we have to get our, we have to get our fucking wherever like the <laughs> business meeting. Well, to be fair, if we're going by those rules, the black guy wasn't human. Yeah, <laughs> true. true. <laughs> I, I, that that makes sense. So that's why he was calm. Yeah, he's fucking. So the the married couple like confused me so much. We'll get into it later. What the fuck were they doing? Like, weren't they like getting ready to have a divorce? Uh, no, it never even I said think he that was much. Just a piece of shit that she did a lot, and she knew it. Like, but why would you take your wife on a vacation with you to cheat? Right, but I don't she's think, no cakewalk either. It, it well, never, yeah. it never established that he did cheat on her. Oh yeah, he said no, no, yeah. he did. Yeah. She did no, ask. No, no, no. Or, he, he cheated on her before. Oh, that's right. He said oh, it was not like they the did other, have not that, like that one backstory. time. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, they uh, <laughs> they all take turns going through the baggage machine, and uh, we find out that Gloria, the elderly lady. Is the uh, alien creature? Yeah, yeah but like, okay. how long have you been playing this fucking card, guys? Seriously, well, well, we don't. We, by, like, like, we don't know when these people were turned, or like, we don't even know if they were turned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't even know if it's like a, a thing. That's situation. how it works. Maybe this yeah, this is like a costume that the aliens put on. Right. What an elaborate, like, odd setup for like. Yeah. Like, hey, you're, I'm you're, and for yeah, you're, what? You're going to be a rapper. You're going to be an old woman. You're going to be a preacher yeah, and you guys are kids. Yeah. As a receptionist. <laughs> and you're just, you're going to, yeah, <laughs> you're going to be super deep undercover. The they had to come up with references. Minnesota. <laughs> they had to come up with references so that she could get the job at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> All for like one of the more remote places in the fucking planet. I know. Why? Well, what are they going to get out of training exercises, guys? Uh, <laughs> it was the be- it was the sea crew. Wouldn't it be funny the, if they did like still learning? Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if they did like a sequel to this and it shows like the aliens, like the actual like alien place they come from, and it's like, boy, what happened to that place where we sent all of our morons? <laughs> <laughs> don't don't you put that out there? Oh, <laughs> shut up, Mister Bulgaria! Way, You're not giving me way, crap. Why these fucking streaming services are just looking for IPs <laughs> to exploit? Go ahead. I would rather they exploit this. Go ahead, make another terminal invasion. I'd rather you do that <laughs> than go back and molest something that was good to start with. No, they'll, they'll do that, but they gotta get the uh, the next uh, eight Jurassic <laughs> World movies out first. <laughs> <laughs> We got to take these dinosaurs to space at some point. So. Oh, my God. You're right. <laughs> oh, can we eventually do a Jurassic Park and Fast and the Furious crossover? Oh, no. That last, that fucking Jurassic World Dominion, it's pretty much like that. Dominion, right? That was the last For real? One. Oh, who knows? Who cares? It was, it was pretty much like the last one I went and see in theaters, and it was pretty much like a Mission Impossible movie with dinosaurs. Have you ever seen like the Tom oh Cruise Mission God. Impossible? Dude, I, yeah. I love the Mission Impossible oh, movies. Oh, I, I do too. I, I do not too. Yeah, but that's not what Jurassic Park was supposed they, to be. They, they, they showed a trailer for the new one that's coming out during Jurassic World and I was hooked. But it made it worse because you had that reference. Oh movie. my God. No. I was like, oh, there's a cool Mission Impossible movie. Then you see all this shit of, you know, Chris Hemsworth riding a motorcycle through uh, some Middle Eastern country while raptors are leaping across buildings. And <laughs> it was like, wow, this is just Mission Impossible with dinosaurs now. Yeah, it's gotten to the point. I like Chris Pratt. I really do, but I won't I won't watch those. I have zero yeah. interest whatsoever. I would watch I another just, Transformers before I'd watch another Jurassic Park. I went and Oof, seen it just because I, mean, I wanted to see what they did with the uh, Beast Wars, the Beast legacy Wars. cast. And they were fun, but that was about it. That was about the only thing that movie, the movie had going for it. Was fun without... You'd su- reckon they were in it. Oh, they, 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 they were actually in it quite a bit. Like oh, it, okay. it was pretty even. It wasn't like the last. It wasn't like were, what they did with Ian yeah, Malcolm. Yeah, where like Ian Malcolm. No, like the, the legacy cast was. They were like main characters in it. Like 
they had their own side plot. Chris Pratt and them had their own side plot, and then they all come together kind of thing. <laughs> but it, it, it was pretty good. It was about 50-50, I'd say. Yeah, but, but uh, fun without substance is just masturbation. I could do it all on my own oh, without yeah. paying like fucking said, movie just, prices just, for it. It's that No Way Home thing that all the... No, 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 no. No, no Way Home saying, had not good... Anything, not, not saying anything bad about No Way Home. No just, Way Home had a reason for doing it yeah. and good writing and managed to pull off one of a ridiculous feat in writing with what they did with uh, Andrew Garfield's character. Do not oh, compare yeah. that no, to no, that no, schlock. No Way Home was great. No Way Home was great, but it, it like spur, it put that idea now where Hollywood doesn't understand you have to be you know Clever about how you do this stuff. Well, Instead, yeah, they're obviously like, oh, they're going to take uh, the wrong yeah. lessons. Right, right. Pe- yeah, people like Jurassic Park, and we can take those guys and put them in Jurassic World, and yeah, you know, there has there's no context, pale imitation. Like well, yeah, Michael Keaton yeah. in the Flash. Yeah, I same know. shit. I want to see that so much, but I just want to see Michael Keaton as Batman again. Then watch. The movies that he did. Guys, I, I, oh, I have. I watch those. Quite- then watch those and guys, enjoy them fondly. I'm so sorry. Don't bring us yeah, back on I'm a topic. Take us back to the X-ray get machine, guys. We we're talking about yeah, better movies, machine, but we got to get. No, we're right not. Here. Not really. <laughs> no, we're not. I don't we think we are. That, uh, we find out that Gloria is an alien, and for some reason, yeah. Fudge Ripple reaches in and tries to yeah. grab her. How dumb was yeah. that? <laughs> Why did yeah, he do that? The cop is like, "Oh shit! Let me get in there. Let me just let me just." <laughs> with this bitch turning into an alien, <laughs> and, and we get a scene on in. the fucking X-ray thing, which was a clever way. That was a clever. That visual. could have that been clever. pretty cool. Yeah, 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 it was a really good concept. So I'll tell you what would have been cool because spoiler alert for not spoiler alert because this movie has no balls. When it comes time for the kid aliens to erupt, they have to morph them into creatures because you can't kill children. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine if they would have done that a little bit I'd sooner. I fucking shot them kids. I know. <laughs> I, I know. Was, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Ben, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, all, so run it dry. But imagine they, if when once imagine if they would have started the morphing thing early and when Gloria was killing him inside of the machine, you saw her morph. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Yeah, that would have actually been kind of cool because then they could have looked at it and been like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, Yeah, and they could they could have saved them some time. They could have saved budget. You know, half the show like yeah, the whole thing. They could have showed it. They just had those stills then that were printing. They they, they could got away with using just bad CGI because it's like, oh, it's just a display of an X ray thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Away from to save some money and time, but yeah, nope. But But fuck, fuck both of those notions. So the Gloria character, uh, she kind of like. I felt like she kind of like sacrificed herself for the other aliens. Come, I feel like she. Oh uh, yeah. She, she also destroys the um, the, machine. the X-ray machine. Yeah. And they're no longer able to run. Now, does she destroy it, or is that just Fudge Ripple's bad aiming? I think Pro- that was just Fudge Ripple covering fire. Probably, yeah. Probably, but yeah, I think either way, it was like a sec because she was going to get caught one way or the other, right? And so right. it interrupted everything. Yeah. That's always the bad part about a lineup like that. Is like you're only. You only get as far as the first one, right? You know that you catch. So, so they, uh, yeah, Fudge Ripple's dead. Gloria's an alien. We're left the rest of our cast. We I love that. I got no longer <laughs> have the, uh, the 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 clever plot device of the baggage X ray thing. Is so yeah. Yeah. Now, now we now we don't know. Who, we're back to not knowing who the fuck aliens yep. are. Right. I loved that they had the and it's my favorite part of the movie. It's the it's really the only good part uh, when the disembodied hand just came yeah, out, just and out. then it says uh, no hands on belt or something like yeah, that. Yeah, keep hands like, away from, yep. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's the best part. That was actually funny. They but it wasn't, suppo- what, was it supposed to be funny? Like, was that a time to make a joke? Man, yeah, this what? movie... No, this whole movie has no idea. It just, it, that's the problem. But if yeah. they had leaned into that, this would have been such a good yeah. movie. So, oh, yeah. They had little... They had... Ga- not little, but they had gags like that. <laughs> On par with that, like so. Tyler, thing. at if the end of this, I have two films that I want that are not the thing, but I have two films that that I want to suggest people watch instead. That do what I think okay. this movie was trying to do, but better. And I'll see if you agree <laughs> well, with yeah, me we'll at the end. Then, yeah. We'll see if you agree with me. Yeah, yeah. Right. perfect. But so uh, tonal mess. So this <laughs> happens uh, now. The this is where all of our characters kind of break apart, right? Because like, doesn't the pilot? She goes. She finds the. Uh, which blew my mind too. They they find a radio because the kids find it, but then this yep. one wants to like work at this fucking place. <laughs> and she didn't know where the radio was. These fucking kids found it. I get well. They were the radios were down. I think the kids were fixing it. 
but yeah, they I were, don't know they why were, they, they were like, would. They were like, oh, no, we were the, with the bad ADR they use for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, we were just looking for the black eyed the children just, sounding motherfucker. We like, <laughs> yeah, we were just, just playing. playing. Yeah. And yeah. they find the radio, and I don't think they're able to get a call out, right? Uh, no. I don't seemed think like. So. I don't believe they were. No, they weren't. Yeah. She, cause she came in and had the kids be a lookout. And, uh, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and this, Jesus, this is where gypsy. we, this is where the big question is posed. Who the fuck are these kids? Yeah. I know. Finally, somebody's like, wait, whose kids are they? I'm like, <laughs> I, I was just like, wait, what do you mean? Whose kids they are? They're your kids, motherfucker. You told me so. I know they're your kids. <laughs> You've you've repeatedly demonstrated it, although not with words, madam. <laughs> like what the fuck? They really went cheap on that twist. Yeah. They oh, really did. That's terrible. That didn't this, work. This is one of the, like the, this is where the movie because the movie's been slow up to this point, but this is where it fucking <laughs> drags to a halt. Oh my gosh, yeah. you're right. Because uh, there so was that whole like kids are aliens. Yeah. Um, Jack and the pilot, they kind of go off and do their own thing. They're looking, they they're looking for a plane. Well, they get there after they have their confrontation with the yeah, kids. Yeah, it's like the kids chase them. Because he finds out and he goes and tries to talk her into because they're at the radio and you know now, he's trying to Eric yeah, did, the, the, kid, the kids do the whole thing of like no I'm don't scared of him. Right. You know? Yeah. And I, please and, don't. And everybody's like, wait a minute. You really like trusted this guy a minute ago. Wouldn't you just like shrug those kids up? Be like, get away from yeah. me, you little fucking ankle biters. Right. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Even if I didn't believe that guy, I don't think I could let one of them be holding onto my arm while somebody's saying, like, no, these body snatching alien sort of things or whatever. <laughs> well, it's like, well, okay. Get the fuck off me for a minute. Okay. Although let's Eric, this out. Eric did point out when the kids were like changing into the things, the kids themselves, they did pretty good. Yeah. yeah. They looked really creepy. They, so. they, they did a great job so, acting there. Yeah. So, yeah. Especially the little girl. The little girl did a great job. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. 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 Although I think the boy looked really creepy. The way he was staring at the mm-hmm. camera with the, the way his eyes like changed and stuff. He had a good, mm-hmm. yeah, they what did great. Like? I'm guessing that's Steven and Hannah. Am uh, uh, could you be. must be that right. Yeah, you might that be right. Sense. Uh, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know who the fuck H- Hannah Lochner so. was born in 93. So, so yes. that yeah, tracks. Yeah, definitely. Okay. That's who was Vivian in uh, Dawn of the Dead? Who? She was? Vivian. Vivian in Dawn of the Dead? I don't, I don't remember that character. But one, the Hannah lady played Vivian in Dawn of the Dead. Oh. Was that the little skater girl? Hold on, let me, I'll find it. it. Don't, I don't know. Don't on her husband's neck. Now she'd have been older than that, right? Maybe. I wouldn't think so because yeah, yeah, Vivian. Yeah, yeah, no, right. yes. So that is the little girl that's their next door neighbor. Oh wow! Oh, oh, wow. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. Yep. yep. I remember. I don't know. Sure, try to be got uh, go nowhere after that. Uh, TV, mm. TV stuff. Hey. Oh well, yep. she had a yeah. she got to work with Bruce Campbell and do a Dawn of the Dead remake. So. Hey, that's ex- that's Zack Snyder Dawn of the Dead remake is actually pretty good. Oh, I, I love that movie. That's a great flick. The, the it has Richard Cheese down with the sickness. I mean, that's just yeah. that's just amazing. Yeah, and he uses Richard Cheese uh, in that new uh, Army of the Dead. <laughs> listen, why you gotta cut record. that? Listen, <laughs> we don't we don't talk about that movie. No <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. Why you gotta bring that shit up? <laughs> I don't mind it. Oh my god, I had fun. Speaking of movies, we don't want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, back to <laughs> so back now the kids to are evil. Term- back to the terminal invasion. So, yeah, th- th- this is the part where it fucking gets really slow. The aliens are the kids. Yeah, but now we get all the the very rich, detailed character development. Oh my god. <laughs> We get, yeah. we get to really care about these characters and find out what makes them tick and all the different layers they have. <laughs> yeah, all those layers, absolutely. Yeah, all the layers. And you know, we found out what it truly... couple, they're married. We yeah. found out what it truly yep, takes married. to bring a marriage through the dark times. I was doing it all wrong. And uh, Right. Yeah, I know. You just yeah. had to sit down and spend five minutes just talking. Yeah, yeah. in duress. the midst of an alien invasion. Right, yeah. 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 And then years of, years of, of stuff from your marriage is just suddenly fixed. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was, and you're all I, different I, I people. Could, I could not believe they were doing that. At that yeah, point. I know. I was like, this, this is the point where the writers decide they want to do a fucking life <laughs> movie. Like, to be fair, I 100 believe the woman would bring up cheating. 
god. That was fucking ridiculous. Literally, me, Ben, and Eric all went, right now? You're really going to do this right fucking now? This doesn't matter. 100%. 100% that won't... That a woman would bring up to you at that time. Listen, there are more important things. Oh my God, it was every lives are at stake. No, I'm with you. I understand. I don't understand why someone would do that. I, but I'm like, why? That that woman couldn't go five fucking minutes without going uh, existential. She was like, oh my god! And then when she took off her jewelry at the fucking, oh, that was such <laughs> literally, th- that's Eric me got, in a previous life. That's Eric me got somewhere. So fucking pissed. <laughs> He was yeah, like, it's a fucking x ray, not an MRI. Come yeah. <laughs> well, not to mention, they made it last way longer than the amount of jewelry she actually she had wasn't, on. Like, yeah. dressed up gaudy in jewelry, right? You know, she wasn't like, it would have been funnier if that was the setup, but it wasn't. And they wasted my time with bad payoff. <laughs> As they often do in this I've had movie. A few dates like well, that. I mean, we don't know where the you know maybe she had piercings elsewhere. You know, not too bad. I guess you could. Be she right. was just so I I can't believe she fucking survives. Man, spoiler alert! Spoilers. Like, I'm sorry, spoiler. No, I'm disappointed in that too. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I know. In, in I that. thought for sure once the final alien flipped to bad guy, I was like, oh, here's where, she, and he puts the stupid little "I love you" bracelet on it. Yeah. yeah. I thought for sure. That, that I was, was like, it. well, here's where she dies. Yeah. And instead yeah, he, he takes did it he only off. Have one of those. Yeah. Apparently. Looked like. Yeah. <laughs> he only brought one. one. Share. And he's just, and why even be taking turns? <laughs> I, I don't get that. He's like, are you ready? Uh, it's your turn. I'm like, what do you mean it's your yeah, turn? Yeah. What do you mean? Hold on. <laughs> no, you already she, had one. She takes it off and she's like, sorry, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh <laughs> so obviously, it's not like she remembers or it's like permanent. They thing. ran out of jelly, <laughs> gel scrunchies that day yeah. on the filming. They're like, yeah. we only got the we one. We only got the one. He's Sorry, like, I, but if know. I'm if I'm Bruce and all these people are saying I shot people, I'm going to be like, look, look at her wrist. She's got like this fucking <laughs> bug saying on her wrist from the alien. I mean, come on, guys, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> And they would take it off, and she'd be like, oh, yeah, no, he didn't shoot anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and the other woman would just be like, no, he didn't. Yeah, I don't, yeah, he did, they only had one of them. They yep. had one of the, the scrunchies. Dear. And she, you have to listen to her because she is the alpha female. Wait a second. Two of you are telling me he didn't, but this one woman's telling me he did. So, so he's going to jail. Yeah. yeah, well, what would they do is like they just have the one that's under control of the bracelet just pass off the bracelet to the one that's talking to the cops and it's just this stupid roundabout game of catch me. It didn't me. make any fucking sense. No. And then what and then what is his ultimate goal with that? Is he hoping to like go to like let's say a Trump rally or something and eventually that motherfucker will find its way onto the wrist of the president. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what are you gonna I mean, do? At the end of the day, what the fuck kind of alien invasion was this in the first place? Yeah. Like you had six aliens who. It was, it's a training exercise. He says that in the end. <laughs> oh, he does. Oh, he yeah, does. He says, this, well, this is a training exercise. You stumbled well, on another training I, exercise. I, I, think oh. we, I think we can consider this a failed, uh, a failed wow. exercise because they they couldn't survive an airport full of the dumbest characters I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't. And, and this only lends credence to my sequel theory that this was actually where the alien race stuck their retards. Yes. And just left them. It's like red versus blue, only they're aliens. It's like <laughs> they stuck them in a box canyon. It's like, what? How much damage can they do? <laughs> wow. So, before all this happens, there's a big chunk of a movie that takes place in just the most drab fucking settings. These plywood, uh, gray room, wait, waiting rooms, where the fuck they are. Yeah. It's like yeah, a break just, room or something. Yeah. Oh dude, what does he call it? The, the pilot's briefing room? The pilot's briefing so, yeah, room. Something yeah, something like that. With I have machine questions and a about coffee, this coffee, room. Coffee, coffee, chocolate soup machine. Yeah. <laughs> I, like wish. I didn't know he's filmed in Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> filmed in Bulgaria? Well, I mean, you said beige waiting rooms. I just <laughs> <thought> Bulgaria. <laughs> Yeah, that yep. was an ode to Bulgaria. I think it was filmed in Canada. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it was. You Canadians should be yeah. ashamed of yourselves. You're better than this. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they they the, these scenes like that's what made these scenes so rough. Not only just like the the boring ass content and the the shitty dialogue and the bland characters, but then you take that and you put that all in just the most boring, uninteresting uh, scenery you can find. It's yeah, these fucking. I don't, you know, they remind me of like uh, waiting rooms or like tire shops. Right. Yeah. No, I agree with where, that. Yeah. yeah where they really rather right. that you go someplace else and tell yes, stuff. Yeah. yeah. They're like, they're like, here's three magazines and a broken soda machine. Right. <laughs> you can wait here. You can leave and let us do our job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it takes. <laughs> 
takes them forever yeah. to start rooting through stuff in there. They finally get it, into the it closet. It takes them forever to figure out, like, oh, hey, we can just take the food out. And they find a, right. they find a cannon. Yeah. Find, oh, oh, my God. They found a mortar in the break room closet. By the way, I would, I would just like... Closet. I would like to go on the record. I would like to go on the record and say that the mortar that they pulled out and the shells they pulled out do not go together. No, <laughs> no. I was like, that's an explosive round, and you know how you set those off by dropping them. Wasn't the what and there's was the just, purpose they gave? It was for avalanches. Yep. Just. Yeah, avalanche. The avalanche, yeah. I think that's a real thing. That is know. a real thing, so. but yeah. but those shells are not it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he can't keep it in the claw, just a random ass claw. I know. <laughs> I think there's usually like, some more like they they take better care of something like that. that like but. anybody could get into. That was their like. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyone could just walk in there and so pull out the crate. Finds like oh look a bazooka. Those are fucking shooting a right. Those yeah. kids were running around everywhere. Nobody was like you know what maybe I should put up the mortar somewhere a little more safe. <laughs> well, even if they don't figure out how to use the cannon, do you guys remember the that in the end of Saving Private Ryan where they're just hitting it on the metal thing and then throwing it like a fucking grenade? Yeah, oh, like yeah. you don't need the tube <laughs> <laughs> to make it go it's, off. It's literally a box of grenades just sitting there. Yeah. Gee, many Christmas. So yeah, it looks uh, like, uh, it, like in real life, avalanche guns are like fucking just howitzers. Yeah. Uh, they're just, yeah, there's howitzers, and sometimes there's a mortar, it looks like. like oh, my gosh. Small mortar, but most of the time, it's just a big fucking howitzer. I mean, yeah, that, that sounds about right. I suppose a, a gun will do. <laughs> I was... <laughs> a big gun. I was so... I thought, it, oh, my God, when I thought that it had killed him firing that thing. <laughs> oh, I, my God, That was yeah. so confusing, too, because it's not like yeah. they like acknowledged it. He's just, like, blown against the wall, and yeah, like, oh, yeah, now there's yeah. only two of us. Yeah, there yeah. was no mourning. I was know. Like, oh, I was, so, I, when God, he hit the wall, I, like, I, I just said, I was like, if that killed him, that's going to be fucking hilarious. <laughs> and they're like, he's got no pulse. I was like, I just busted out laughing. You did. And so it's like, motherfucker, you've been sitting there. I know that he's like the alien in the end, but he's been sitting there playing with this thing for God knows how long. <laughs> And you didn't look up the fucking instructions. You got to yeah. tell somebody, have somebody yell you out of the instructions to load it up and stuff to they, shoot it. They thought that was suspense, is what they thought. That, they that sure was their did. mistake. They, th- they thought this is going to be so suspenseful. Literally, they got to they they yell the directions while this thing is trying to get past a soda machine. Oh my gosh. Coffee, yeah, coffee machine. Coffee machine. Yeah. Because that's what's happened now. It, one of them starts bursting through the coffee machine for some reason. Well, a, a, it, after, it they do, after they do, after they do their little coffee voice machine, thing. but then it thinks it has to move it out of the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. It kills, it the it wall. kills husband, right? Yep. Punches yep. Right. Once they yeah. fix their marriage, yep. Just yeah, they fix their marriage. Neck. The the kids are outside the door and they's doing like a, fi- a voice saying, like, "Let me." That sounded yeah, so yeah, so right. wrong. Was they they're yeah. like, if you even consider opening this door, you all deserve to die. Yeah. You'll be sorry. Yeah, you'll be sorry. <laughs> and then uh, they're like, "Oh, let's move the coffee machine in front of the door," and uh, oh, it, it gets in, yeah. in the coffee machine and punches through it. Right. Yeah. Basically, yeah. <laughs> their their arms aren't that it. long. I mean, they had to like get in it and punch. <laughs> yeah. So the thing punches through the coffee machine, kills the uh, the husband. Yeah. The snaps wife his neck. snaps his neck. Yeah. Snaps, snaps his neck. neck. I mean, the thing's got all style. It's yeah, got raven. It's got like bird talon claws, but it breaks his neck. <laughs> Wait, snaps his neck, and this is where we get, I think, just the raw emotion of the wife as she mourns the loss of her husband. Right, and it's <laughs> it's it's it's, it's tear jerking. Oh yeah, she it forgot was, uh... all about <laughs> him she, cheating. She for, she forgets about it. Yeah. Like, Oh the yeah, ma- no. The, their the very next fixed. shot, she's like, "Oh shit, we gotta get, I gotta get I out of here." I know. That. And then she she just moves through her emotions so quickly. She, Everybody yeah, does. Just, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you, you give me an example of somebody services. lingering on an emotion? Fair enough. No, yeah, no one cares about anyone that is dying. Absolutely correct. Like even Fair when enough. Darian, like they think he died, like oh man, he died. Well, yeah, that's moving on. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he died saving our lives. Oh, that's uh, just- <laughs> no. Let's go. Yeah. Should anybody say anything nice? Nah, God saw he was a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th- th- thanks for the skittles, and that's like, <laughs> like let's get the fuck going. <laughs> yeah, because that's a scene we got the there. Oh yeah, see, businessman w- w- and w- Darian. W- when are- they do like funny little gags, like. The the funny ones in this that 
or that actually work or the ones that aren't supposed to work where it's like, oh my God, they did that. Yeah. And then when you when you can tell they're actually trying for comedy, it's crazy. It's, it doesn't terrible. land. And that's what I'm telling you. They should have really just leaned into this being yeah, comedy. It the, been whole, the whole scene with the businessman and the, the uh rappers just to be like, look at how odd these di- there's they're total opposites. Yeah. And they're 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 having a, a wacky time eating candy and it wasn't funny at all. It wasn't entertaining at all. Yeah. No, no, but when the when when Darian is that his name when he died yep. that was fucking hilarious. Yeah, oh, so yeah. so the alien the alien gets <laughs> gets around the uh, gets around the coffee machine. It can't get can't quite move this coffee machine. Uh, it get, gets uh, it's sent through, the, through the doorway, <laughs> and uh, Darian, while the businessman is yelling him directions, fires the avalanche <laughs> gun, fucking throws him across explode, the room, explodes the alien's head. And kicks him back against the wall and kills him. Wait, and uh, if this is a training exercise, why did he do that? Exactly. Why would he shoot one of his own kind? He shot his own student. What and he's like, what, you're what, not what, doing what? good enough, pal. Why did uh, you go around and shoot the people? Uh, that yeah, right. Like, he's like, everyone get behind me. Turns around, bam. Dead. Yeah, th- there's your moment, man. Seize the day. You could have won. Like the concussion was like dynamite in a room like this. Yeah. 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 So yeah. they all should have just yeah. Which I believe. Died. I bet if you fired something like that in a small room, oh, it'd be yeah. devastating. Like, well, I mean, scary. yeah, because yeah. what they were sh- what they were quote unquote shooting was it was explosive. <laughs> Not yeah. they're yeah. like, oh, it's sound. I'm like, it ain't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just blows the building up, kills everybody in it. <laughs> Some type of sonic grenade, like Batman <laughs> uses. Mm, <laughs> I don't think so, chap. <laughs> don't think they have those around this these parts. No, but yeah. No. So uh, Darian is dead. Uh, and and and, and, and we mourn. oh god that was so we funny. mourn and, that was uh, so funny they they uh they get the fuck out of there through the uh, ceiling the, then we get to, to the twenty minutes of this back to back dissolves as they're crawling through yeah. the world's oh, the, largest fucking airport ceiling let, yeah because they had to do the nod to Jurassic Park let's where they're crawling the dissolves but these these fucking dissolves they use repeatedly in this movie oh yeah are like what what would you call those dissolves what are they called. Crappy, fade, some Improper sort of fade or slant transition. Smash. Yeah, yeah. Smash yeah. Transition. So it's like it's like a I don't even know what you call, it, but it has it has a sound. It goes, yeah, but yeah. The, all the Every transitions time. in this movie were fucking terrible. They Not did all, have <laughs> they had one. There was one where I went, oh, that's a good transition. Yeah, and I'm, Ben's I'm, like, no, that's about. just a normal one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's when but there was one where it worked. It's, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's when they 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 fade out and they go to the the sky of the snow and then they pan down to them walking out. And the you know the pan yeah. just, the way the cameras move just matched and it transitioned yeah. the scene. Eric's like, that was a good one. I'm like, it was a normal one. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and it stood it, out because all the rest of them were shit. <laughs> just, so yeah, Jesus. they 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 die hard their way through the uh, the ceiling of. The airport, <laughs> yeah, they which, do. which which goes from being a very small garage in the middle of uh, Minnesota to being a full on facility, yeah, yeah, with a very intricate air and duct system. What the fuck are they crawling on? Uh, they're not even in the air ducts; they're in like the, the, ce- they're, the ceiling. It's yeah. because they're reproducing. Has anyone that- ever worked in a fucking like <laughs> ceiling like that before? It's, got, it's because they're Nobody reproducing like, that scene minute. from Jurassic Park. They're We're reproducing. Oh yeah, the yeah, they, yeah. They did have to do that. From Jurassic Park, the yeah. raptors that came up through the when they're crawling through yep. the ceiling. That's exactly yeah, what that was. It, it was sh- it was <laughs> almost shot for shot. Look like it almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only you know oh, he terrible. Head up too, doesn't he? Yep. Like yeah, he does. He's doing that whole thing where <sighs> poking his head up through it. Yeah. yeah. So, very, and, a, lot, a lot of tension. Very tense. Very. very tense. Um, and then is like, I'll take your word for it. And yeah. then the <laughs> frame rate suddenly changes. That was awful. I was I was actually like, is something wrong with the with, with I, the movie? I like, wonder what's how happening? many I wonder how many kids they stroked out I know, on oh, sci-fi seriously. channel. <laughs> it did. It looked like a strobing effect because of just how uh, you know they're doing this like weird thing with the frame rate where it's really jumpy now because suddenly something horrific is. Yeah, happening. they really wanted you to be like horrified that business guy was Die and, and, like, and we're like, thank like, God, he's care. lasted too long. <laughs> how did Sarah yeah, survive? <laughs> yeah. So how does business guy die? He gets that pulled, was it. He that gets was pulled through the ceiling. Pulled through the ceiling. Dead. Okay. Yep. He, that was it. So Sarah. Sarah gone. Just, Which one's Sarah? Our final four, the right? the our Karen final character. four. Yeah. She doesn't. She our, no, well, no, technically our, three. Our final three. Because uh, we still think Darian is dead. They all escape. 
and they get to a room uh, with the lounge or whatever the fuck the the pilot where the fuck the security room. No, they is. get they back get, to the plane. They're back to the plane now. Yeah, well, they they see on the camera that yeah, they see something on the camera. Oh yeah, they yeah. end up doing this really crazy like headphone walk thing. Yeah, like where the fuck did they get these headphones? Yeah. Nobody knows. Yeah, fucking, I was wondering right that now. too. And why are they? Why did they? The aliens leave those operational if they knocked out everything else? Because long range communication. It's not short range. Oh, okay. Fair yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but did anybody else think those headsets look remarkably like um, modern compared to the other equipment in that place? Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks. You're right. They did. Yep. So they find out Darian is alive and. Uh, uh, the pilot and Jack, they have to sneak back in and save him. For some reason, they change yeah. uh, Bruce's clothes to look like Alan Grant. Yeah. Yep. Yep. When he changed, he's just dressed yeah. up like Alan Grant. Do the whole thing, the same shirt and pants. <laughs> and, and, None and of the anything also, else. No. They, they also uh, presumably kill the alien by uh, setting it on fire. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah explodes to the... Oh, yeah, right. that's right, because yep. it went yellow, yep. then blue flame, and then... Yeah, explosion. that's right. Yep. Yeah. So, all is well. Darian's Yay. alive, and Jack's alive, and the pilot's alive, and, and the wife's alive, alive, but yep. Darian is an alien. Yep, yep. And he turns British. Turns... <laughs> <laughs> and a Bond villain. And becomes a Bond villain. Yeah, yeah. but I, I'm going to have to agree with Ursa. Besides Bruce, he's probably the best actor in the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, was just, it was just so weird. I was like, so what about the alien makes him turn British? Like, what? Well, I, I didn't... So He's not from America, British? Tyler. He's an alien. <laughs> so the aliens are British? I mean, is that what... You stumbled out of a training exercise, you yank. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it seemed like. So it's like, it's like so you're doing a voice Admiral of, what you, of what you think a black guy sounds like. <laughs> but then once you're revealed, you decide to default to British. And it just... I was like, what... It just didn't make any sense. Even Obviously. the aliens thought the British sounded smarter. The yeah. aliens yeah, are yeah, purelyist and racist. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. It's yep. a good thing they're the bad guys. Yeah. What What the fuck did the did these aliens watch to uh, study up on their characters? Oh, Lord. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel Air in Downtown Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just watched like the jazzy Jeff scenes of uh, <laughs> Fresh Prince of anything. That's what he did. He found a YouTube video of like uh, yeah, DJ Jazzy Jeff highlights. <laughs> that's that's what I'm going for. Uh, yep. So the, the the Earthlings think this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, well, some show. of them. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So start uh, rapping. I guess. <laughs> What? <laughs> Dog? Like I don't know. Dog? I didn't get it. Nobody uh, got yeah. it. So Darian turned into a um uh, uh turned into an alien. He I don't turned think out to be as alien do them. Uh, no, no, he didn't. He did the uh, no. the eye thing. Yeah, they they burn up their their, their last suit they had. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they they burn up the the only suit they had and. uh so he never he never turns into an alien. He just gets stronger and fights Jack and the and the um, the pilot. Right. Uh, the alpha female. Uh, Jack and the pilot are getting, oh yeah, the alpha female. Oh, okay. I'm gonna talk about that, Bailey, if you like. Line. The alpha female. I'm sorry, I had to step away. What was it? The alpha yeah, we're, female we're line. Oh, we're on the alpha female. Oh my fucking yeah. god. I burst it out of my fucking chair. I'm I was like, what the fuck? What? Yeah, and then after that, I was like, "I that's never leaving my brain ever Cause, again." Because what's going on? She's just giving a speech, and then she just like says, "She's what? she's I'm the alpha female she's declaring now. that she's in charge, and yeah. why like yeah. she has to have guns <laughs> and everything." Yeah. Yeah, Even though like, don't, not during once during this fucking movie, she puts that gun <laughs> on her person and just expects everyone to obey what she says. It's like no, 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 no. I would have a hundred percent called her bluff. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you're not you're not kicking me out of the, your airport this weather with fucking alien around. around. I'm not going what are you going to call the cops? <laughs> I'd be like, what if I was an alien? You're just gonna be like, nah, go ahead, get out of here. It's fine. <laughs> but thanks. Jeez. So so Darian Alien uh has his mind control handcuffs that we don't oh Lord. Where he, yeah. it's, uh, his little gel bracelet from yeah. middle school. Yeah, yeah. A, a very, very high budget intricate prop they had commissioned and designed for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a, very, a very iconic, you know, 
piece iconic of, look uh, yep. from this film gear mm-hmm. yeah, and uh, <laughs> the the old mind control handcuffs he puts on people and they they you know they're, they're as well and they yep. but until he takes it off and they aren't yeah yeah until he takes it off they're me like what the fuck happened what happened <laughs> this is the most useless bracelet yeah, to have yeah. as a so, as so, a one off so it only works if you keep that giant ugly thing on the on the wrist yep yeah yeah it, it yeah. looks like it's a centipede yeah yes. yeah yeah it just so, looks like so so nobody's nobody's gonna notice it yeah, so it's a very suspicious Subtle. piece of equipment. If you leave that on their wrist, this works. But if they take it off, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't and apparently it's super easy to take off too. Yeah, just, just like just slip it off. Yep. <laughs> so, so, so at least it, yeah, like so. Well, at least it's hard to get off, right? No, no, you kind of like just slip it just off, slide it it's off. It's not hard at all. Free. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll fall off if you swing your arm too far. Yeah, you got to you got to be careful while you're yeah. Doing. Just obey my oh, orders slowly, all carefully, right. carefully. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem like the best, but it's all and you are not allowed to shower or change your clothes at any time. Well, here no. your 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 whole team gets one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone gets one. Just yeah, just have the humans one. take turns. You know, being per- mind. If you all hold hands, it shares yeah. the signal. Now, We're gonna now, hands good, across the world this shit. Now, good luck uh, invading this planet of four hundred billion people. <laughs> 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 that's that's their plan. Their training but, exercise was just to call her one human. Yeah, you just had to yeah. do one. Get one and go. Get, get out. You can get this on one human. You <laughs> succeeded. We're going to take over this planet very slow. It's a very slow invasion. <laughs> Running <laughs> rush. Why well, just yeah. fucking kill them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing. They're not. Everybody's going to gonna assume this murderer. You know, you kill everyone else and let him go. That's right. It. Yeah. It's the perfect cover assume story. This murderer killed everyone. You're right. Yeah. Or kill and, everybody and, else and, and then kill him. Yeah. yeah. And you just stay behind. Like, oh man, I just survived. Ooh. I hid in the broom closet. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I had this bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hid in the broom closet with this bazooka. I found. And they're like, oh, okay, it makes sense. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's the, totally the bazooka broom closet. Okay. Yeah, the bazooka in the broom closet. Obviously, yeah. that's where they would reinforce <laughs> is, is, their is broom closet. Is that our closet. next like, fantasy novel? The, bazo- the bazooka in the, in the, in the broom closet. closet. <laughs> That'll, be <laughs> the broom That'll be our next murder mystery. That'll be our next murder mystery. Bed knobs, broomsticks, and bazookas. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harry Potter and the uh, bazooka and the broomstick. <laughs> oh no, the bazooka closet of Narnia. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so Darian uh, was for some reason trying to proposition to leave the two girls, and Jack could leave, and yeah, I don't know what his goals were there. He's like, "What are you?" Yeah. Oh, he was trying to show um, Garrick that human nature would always like like they would always leave no matter what so like there was oh, no yeah. point and like oh, yeah yeah but yeah. then bruce decided, like said yeah last 10 minutes need to be philosophical for some reason right yeah bruce remembered that guns unloaded yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah. wait a minute oh yeah the gun that you're holding which has been unloaded this whole time you would 100 percent know the gun was unloaded gentle, <laughs> yes gentle listeners please I'm going to implore you, do not use that tactic in a real life situation. But <laughs> if you have to, if you have to, for fuck's sakes, remember what kind of gun it is? <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the two guns they had were completely fucking different. Right? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. All you have to yeah. do is remember one's is black, one's... Do? It's so, important yeah. that you're sure. <laughs> it's like, because I don't fucking remember. <laughs> He's like, it's really important that you remember because I, this being my plan that you knew nothing about, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Are we fucked or not, Helen? Yeah. He's like, you tell me, is that the gun that I gave you? And she's like, I don't know. I, 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 well, like, what do you really She's like, I don't know. I said it down once or twice. Yeah. I'd be like, like, well, we're fucked now. Thanks. Man, I barely remember my own name under pressure, motherfucker. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> now, um, so they... The wife, the pilot, and Jack uh, kill the alien by uh, chaining him to a, a lift, a winch of some kind. Yep. And uh, feeding him into a uh, airplane propeller. Yep. Yep. That's how they did it. And they, it sprayed they, a bunch of random colored goo everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Yep. After throwing a bunch of shit at him, and he's just like knocking it all aside, and then, yeah, somehow... Uh, Apparently there was some Indiana Jones in this too, because that's how he got the chain around him was just like a whip. Yep. <laughs> and uh, the the police, we hear police sirens in the distance. Oh uh, yeah, Jack and the pilot up. fly off. She yeah, throws her Jack life away to aid and abet 
a felon yeah, who yeah, just a for felon. all they're ever gonna know committed a mass I know. murder. Can you, can you imagine if he was? They were like flying away, and this is eighty yard, and he's like, "By the way, you know, I was also a rapist." <laughs> <laughs> Like, and one of the cops going to get there, and Sarah's going to be like, no, there were aliens. There were, yeah, yeah, it's like, I no. know, she's standing there just like, hi, there are a lot of human bodies in the bathroom. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, there's, she, put, she gets put in prison. They're like, oh, God, like, yeah. They don't, here with this her they don't have a happy ending. No. They do not. He, no, for all they are ever going to no, know. No one else knew that Jack was there, did they? Because they. Were oh, no. No, no yeah, because remember, there. what's it? Uh, well, uh, the, Darian did the voice and fo- phoned it in. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Because at the last minute, they, they decided that those things can also imitate voices. Yeah. Um, right. That something yeah. they've never used once whatsoever. You think, you'd think that that skill would have come in fucking handy when the kids were outside the door. Well, they yep. were yeah. kind of, but it just it's it still was like kind of the kids, but it was too weird. Yeah, but looking. you think that they could have just I mean, sounding. Yeah, but Jack said, "Don't bring anybody back right. unless I'm with them." Oh, so what, there's two been. of them. Couldn't they be like, "Here comes Jack"? Hey guys, I'm over here now. Oh God, you're right. <laughs> right <on Yeah>. <laughs> you're so right. They really could have yeah. been because they would have heard him on the other side of the door. No, no, Jack said it is. Uh, uh, hey, I'm Jack right here. Right, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> God damn, you're like right. Fucking toy, like a toy story. <laughs> Maybe only the leaders can do that. Maybe not the <laughs> Do not give them an out, Ursa. They don't deserve it. <laughs> nor, <laughs> nor did they explain enough of anything yeah. for us to. We don't even draw. know that he is the leader. I know. I'm just like, assuming. He says I'm a leader. He, they, oh, oh, does he? Okay. He does. I gave it. Okay. I gave we really shit. tuned out on the monologue. Yeah. By the time when he started getting yeah. philosophical, I was done. Yeah. 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 As, soon, as soon as his voice changed to British, I was like, oh, I was man. like, I I refuse man. to be waxed philosophically by this fucking. Yeah. And I had checked out on the dialogue in this movie. <laughs> oh about my god! Three by scenes <laughs> prior, I had checked out an alpha female. <laughs> that was pretty oh, early was right on. The beginning. Yeah. Like it didn't really make sense either because he's like, you're looking for slaves, but you're like, you want humans because they have all this heart and they're very uh, like resistive. In, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I guess that, will. I guess that means that you can just beat them you, a lot and we'll keep them alive. <laughs> oh, God. You know, we, we whip other races in, that we found throughout the, the galaxy and they just fucking die on us. We need something <laughs> sturdy or stuff. Yeah. yeah. We need sturdy or More stop. willpower. Well, there you have it. That yeah. was 2002's Terminal Invasion. Woo. Thank God that's over. <laughs> <laughs> now we get, a, we get closed out by talking about the quality of Campbell. Good. Bad. I'm the guy with the gun. All right. It's time to talk about the quality of Campbell in uh, 2002's Terminal Invasion. Yep. We all watched. We all watched in the <laughs> we entirety. All, we all watched it. We yeah, all did. we laid eyes on it. <laughs> it's been a hell of a cult over. Yeah. <laughs> it sure has. <laughs> <laughs> so we watched Terminal Invasion. Uh this movie sucks. Uh, if 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 you have the opportunity, don't spend sixty bucks on it. Uh, oh, which would, okay. Oh. So which leads into what I want to okay. So if if you are looking for something in this vein, but you don't yes. want to pollute your mind with garbage, I have two <laughs> film suggestions for you. You've probably watched them already if you're one of the people that's watching our stuff. Mm. So there are two ways that you can salvage this movie by dealing with the comedy. You can either lean into the comedy, like Eric said, in which yeah. case you make it into a gross out monster comedy. If you want to go that route, I suggest you watch Slither. Oh, yeah. Great movie. Or you take out the punchlines of the comedy and you allow the comedy to kind of arise from the situation. You play it more serious. And if you want to go that route, I suggest you watch trimmers. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And then of course the thing, you know, that's a layup. You know, it's kind of a, uh, right. a movie kind of in this vein that I like that. I don't think it's really a great movie, but for some reason I've liked it. You ever seen the watch with Ben Stiller? No, I actually kind of enjoy that movie. It's a fun one. It's not. It's not a great movie. I'm not saying it's like a amazing movie. But it's a, it's a fun little like uh, alien kind of movie. Kind. It's kind of like similar to this. Really. It's like a with Ben Stiller. Yeah, like a small town. Yeah, it's, it has Ben Stiller. Uh, shit. Who's the Jonah Hill? Um. <laughs> yeah. God, it's got. Notice I was quiet. It. It's, got two, it's got two other guys in it. I can't think of who they are, but no, it's like. Uh, this small town is having like, like someone gets murdered. Oh, Vince Vaughn and Vince Vaughn. That's right. It's Vince oh, Vaughn, okay. Stiller, 
Someone Jonah else. Hill and <laughs> some, and that British uh, black guy who was in like a bunch of like British stuff. I don't fucking know. A bunch of, that's <laughs> that's real helpful, man. Uh, that, that fucking I wish guy. I could help you out. <laughs> Idris Elba? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he he, uh, he he's the one with the, he's the British guy with the British accent. <laughs> Oh yeah, that guy. No, totally. Yeah, I totally get you. Not, not not the not the black British guy from Terminal Invasion. So <laughs> Richard Ayota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in a Something. lot of shit. He was in a lot of shit for a minute. I don't know if he's still like, popular. But there was like, a spurt where he was in a lot of stuff. I just it's, appreciate it's a, how it's specific fun, you're being. <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's a fun movie where like uh, yeah, this town there's a murder happens. Uh, ben Stiller is kind of like this like wanna be hero guy so he organizes a neighborhood watch uh, <laughs> okay and turns out there's like uh aliens are starting their invasion in this small town like basically testing out uh humans in this in this small town it's pretty it's it's interesting uh, it, it's, not, it's not a great movie by any means but it's i fun watched one. it i liked it Did yeah, you? it's a fun one it's a fun one but uh <laughs> yeah terminal invasion not very fun no but <laughs> that was a fun one <laughs> So uh, it could have been. It kills me. They they really could have. I wish they had gone to. I I, yeah. I really wish they had leaned into the comedy. This would have been great if they. I had. tell you what, like this one of those movies that Bruce is in where he didn't need to be in it, and they really didn't let him do anything. Brucey shit. He didn't do. He he wasn't. No. It was one of those movies where like it was like not even Bruce could have saved it. In my opinion, which no, is I mean going way into my you know rating. I mean, right. It wasn't. It wasn't even one of those movies where it's like you know, Alien Apocalypse. I think is a movie we always use as an example because that movie in itself is bad, but Bruce kills it in that movie because every time he's on screen, he's just like, yeah, he, like he like he knows what he's in. Yep, he knows movies bad, so he's he, he's like had nothing to risk, so he just turned up. He has turned it up to ten. It was just fucking one liners and machismo and you know exactly punching aliens and you know single handedly shooting. You know, alien didgeridoos and shit. I mean, <laughs> that, that was that, and like he was just having a blast, getting sprayed with goo and you know, dodging explosions. Yeah, and it it was fun because of it. And this is one of those movies where he like didn't do shit. He looked bored in it, and the movie didn't benefit at all from having Bruce Campbell of all people in it. Right. No, I know what you mean. He he, he benefited from it, but the movie didn't. Right. Oh, I'm sure he benefited. He got a man with it's the screaming brain. A yeah, yeah, yeah. It did. He, he got a man with screaming brain. I mean, yeah, he got that chip off his shoulder, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> took that. Big no, story. I agree. Like it, you know, they tried to give it a little bit of the Bruciness, like the lines were there for it, and you know, stuff like that. But the tone, I can't get over the tone of this movie in general. It was just all over this place. I, at least his tone was consistent. I'll say that. It, right. Yeah, I'll sure. say that. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, honestly, for me, it felt like uh, he kind of phoned it in. He did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. All that was, like but like yeah, consistently phoned it in. <laughs> yeah. now, now, before now before we go to the rating of the movie, because I, I think we've all pretty much <coughs> expressed our feelings for this movie, so I don't mm. need to linger on the quality too much. I think we've 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 pretty much expressed <laughs> how we feel about this movie. But one thing I want to touch on before we move on to rating the movie is the alien. Oh, uh huh. Oh what, yeah. What you what you think of the alien? So I thought the practical effects and the puppet puppet stuff and all that I thought it actually looked really good. You did. I didn't. I did not like the alien. At I did. All. I, the alien looked like chewed gum. Yeah, <laughs> it was really gross. It was very creaturey. I thought it. I thought it looked pretty good. At least okay. I'm aside from like the last scene that we saw it in, where they just got the, you know, when they were doing quick shots and stuff of it uh, initially. I thought that stuff in the transformation scene. I thought that was actually done pretty well. But um, yeah, I think the me. transformation scene was done yeah. well. I think I don't think they had a lot of money to use on the aliens, so I, I'm true. okay with it. I I don't I didn't see anything. Ba- I don't think it was it wasn't like up to par as far as the quality goes. But the actual design itself, I don't I don't think there was anything fundamentally wrong. With uh, it. I did not like it. I thought it looked ugly. Like I mean, uh, I mean, it definitely ugly looked ugly. In alien sense, but I thought it looked. Yeah, I um, mean, I get what I you mean. Know. It looked kind of like a yeah. naked naked mole rat. Yeah, yeah. yeah it did. Like uh, you're I, I, right. I looked at this movie. And like I said, like the DVD has like an alien test suit thing. I didn't watch it where they like test the suit out. But I, I looked up to when I was like research this movie a while back. Like this was like a movie that for some reason Fangoria was like big one. Hmm. They did like a full cover huh. of Terminal Invasion for Fangoria. 
and it was Bruce, the pilot, and then like the alien creature on the cover in like full lighting. And I was like, that's just an ugly looking monster. Oh, like, see, yeah, I wouldn't really didn't do a good job of putting that thing. On yeah, the fucking, uh, I mean, yeah, most Orion, most things at that kind of I couldn't have helped this movie. So, uh, approximate is uh, two million for this movie, for the budget. Oh, really? Approximately yeah. two million, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, see, they did good with the budget that they had, I guess, for the creature, but they really should have... That That then becomes a choice of, like, how much do you show? And right. they should have... They should have They should have erred on the side of less, but I, oh, I tend yeah. to think you should do that for creatures anyway, right? <laughs> I, but, I feel like at a certain point, yeah, there are some movies where, like, you know, they're so cheap, you don't see the... I, I, that annoys Shelby where you don't see the monster at all, or you just <laughs> constantly see the, the, the claw and the tail. Oh yeah, Jaws was totally terrible. Babe, what do you think of the, no? You, you how can they actually see the creature when it comes up. Like you actually see the shark at a certain point. Like it's sad. Yeah, we saw it. I, I I don't like the movies where it you know you just get you never actually get to see the full monster. Like I, I hate that. I like, think it should have been. It should have been you like you just see you just see the full monster at the end. Yeah, oh, and it it should have been a different wow. color. It, they shouldn't have gone with this skin tone color. Like I kind of get what they were what they were going for. Like. You know, with it being like the same, the same skin tone as like the, I guess, host Shoot, yeah. or yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like it's like that pinky flush color. Like yeah. you know, I I just think it, it could have looked so much better in a different color because you can play with color. Yeah, you could have made it green. Yeah, it made it green. They could have even made it red. Like they could have just done all. I don't know. It the monster <laughs> was bad. It, the coloring right. was bad. It could have been a lot better. Yeah, this was this. Yeah, there was a lot of things with that that character, that fucking alien. I just did not could not get behind. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I thought it was. I was not a fan of it. I thought it was cool. I just didn't think that the the coloring was just so distracting to me. But I I honestly thought like because when the the head is popping up through the through the ceiling, it actually does look like a pretty freaky fucking design. Oh, but yeah. it's. It, it's, it, again, it's just that coloring. I can't get past that coloring. Yeah, I mean, I will give you guys this. Like, I, I'm just kind of referring to like you know the practical, like pulling it off. But like as a design itself, it's it's not remarkable. No, yeah, it's not. I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have anything fundamentally against it though. Yeah, I mean, I've just, but it's not. It doesn't inspire any sort of. It's like what is you know. Like you have very iconic creatures in movies you that look have at very distinct the looks. Xenomorph. Yeah, yeah, xenomorph is a great example. Yeah. And you know, you have, this doesn't have anything like that. That even the thing, like something that is amorphous and has no shape, has very iconic. Well, that's that's what makes it, it iconic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, but it still has very tentacly, and you know, it had a little bit of a unifying theme to it that just you yeah. can recognize it when you see it mm-hmm. somehow. This just, yeah, it. it didn't really do anything for me to be honest you know so i won't sit here and defend it i just thought you know it definitely uh, grossed me out i yeah to and see it. i still stand yeah. by the transformation with the kids those were yeah those, those were, were good, good. Shot. that was well right. put together that was really good so you know and and again the uh the idea of killing them in the machine and having the printout was a good idea it just wasn't fully yeah. realized yeah but beyond that it was uh to quote their favorite movie one big steaming pile of shit <laughs> 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 All right, Claudia Campbell. So, oh, one big pile uh, of shit. Ben, ben, yeah. go for it. This it was terrible. He looked Claudia bored. Campbell, yeah, the quality of Campbell. It was it was spoiled, outdated. Yes. Ben should have been past its expiration date. Like he was bored as fuck. It didn't ask him to do anything. Um, th- the editor made him look like an amateur by including in the the parts of the cut where he's not looking at. What he's supposed yeah, to be, going on. yeah, yeah. So like, nah, nah, baby, nah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and say, yeah, quality Campbell, not not there for me. <clears throat> Couldn't, uh, didn't save the movie. Like I said, I we, yeah. we've seen bad movies where Bruce saves it, yes, and make makes them watchable and makes it fun. This was not one of those things. It was just he looked bored. There wasn't anything there for him. It wasn't a, a Bruce role. I mean, he. I mean, he, I'm sure he could have made it a Bruce role, right? Uh, escape convict. Sure, the, all the pieces but, are there, but just didn't didn't click. What about you, Eric? Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty much gonna agree. Yeah, it wasn't it the it wasn't uh, any there wasn't anything at all special about his performance. They did not capture the Bruciness, but the poten- the potential was there, 
and it wasn't achieved. And that's kind of what get that's what really disappoints me about it, I guess. Yeah. And I wonder if he was kind of um how many productions he had going on at the time. Like I wonder if he was just kind of like this over two thousand two. I, th- I think what he had going on Brother Hope Cap, I think was around this time. Okay. So he might have just He was dedicating you know, all his make, talent to that. Yeah. 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 Like not yeah. not at all to make excuses his, for his performance. His magnum but opus. A man is only a yes. man. And it's just yeah, not groovy. Didn't oh yeah. Sign, yeah. There's a third film. And if you want your and if you want a Bruce Campbell at his if yeah, if you want a Bruce Campbell fix, acting. watch fucking Bubba Hope. Yeah. Yeah. That movie's amazing. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh what about you, Bailey? It's a not groovy for me, dog. I, it's just it, it's not he looks bored. It could have really been like a cruder side to Bruce. Like Bruce being Bruce, like we always say that you know, we could have seen that I actually would have liked to have seen. I would have, uh, that would have been a different side to him, but yeah, it's just, it's not good. The dialogue is terrible. Uh, I'll oh, go ahead and fucking say oh, that dialogue's yeah. awful. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's if fucking haven't terrible. Made that clear. Uh, yes. It's, it, it's just, it's not good, man. It's not good. It, he doesn't No, He doesn't look like he's having fun in this role at all. So, you yeah. know, one of these writers helped write, um, Romeo Must Die and um, Live Free or Die Hard. That makes no. that makes sense. <laughs> right. so, someone someone saw that uh, scene of him of them characters crawling through the uh, through the vents. ceiling. It was yeah. Like, you, you, should, you should try your hand at a Die Hard movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna write oh. Die Hard. But yeah, that was uh, that was something. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a not groovy. Not groovy. Me. Bailey gave it a not groovy. Ursa, Ursa, have you thrown in your? He has not. Not, not groovy, obviously. Not not, not, not groovy. groovy. Okay, yes. not groovy. So Eric, yeah, I'm also a not groovy. And Ben, not groovy. Not groovy. Unanimously Survive, not groovy. Not groovy. Yep. For Terminal Invasion, the most expensive movie we've purchased, or I've purchased. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, man. Movie. Why do you do this to yourself it's and it, us? It, it, it's all me. It's this all was me. Yeah, terminally yeah, I, I bought, not groovy. I bought it, and you guys had to watch it. So no, we're one. gonna make this a tax <laughs> deduction. <laughs> yeah. Don't you worry. You should. <laughs> Damn right. Don't you worry. I honestly should. <laughs> hey, yep. at, you know what? We find a way to parlay to tax deduct your Mario DVDs before too long. Oh yeah, there you go. Damn it! Now yeah. we're gonna have to yeah. fuck yeah. There we just go. do it. <laughs> Yeah, just. we'll use them as as lining for our our studio <laughs> soundproofing. Oh <laughs> the my padding. God. <laughs> no, I, I already said one. That's why I want you guys to build my cask out of my passport. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> Mario, God. When, when you guys ship my body over to Bulgaria, you your casket's <laughs> gonna be two sizes the, the size you are already. Oh, <laughs> but there we have it, guys. That was Terminal Invasion, two thousand two. Sean S. Cunningham directing. Bruce Campbell starring, not groovy. Uh, I don't know yeah. why this was Sci-Fi Channel's most watched movie for a long time, but uh, I, I guess because the the you know the names attached. But I'm yeah, sure it was quickly turned off. It was watched. But Oof. there you have it. That was uh, Terminal Invasion. Thank you guys for listening to all the stuff we have here for Cult Tober, our month long celebration of our favorite holiday. Uh, we got a lot. A lot of stuff ahead. Still, the this is like the final week. I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness! We oh. have we time's have, flown by. It feels like we've barely done this at all. I know. Yeah. We have Halloween tree. We have Beetlejuice coming up next Monday. We have the Sundown, which is the the last call to Campbell for October. Whoa! Yeah, and that's the that's will be the rest of October on Campbell for October. Wow. Yeah. So there you guys have it. That was uh, Terminal Invasion. Thank you for listening. Make sure you follow us on all of our socials to keep up on Culttober at culttopnet across the board on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere, and listen to all your favorite Cult Talk Net podcasts on all your favorite podcast platforms. I've been Ty. I've been Eric, and I only just now got the terminal pun. Damn it. And I'm Ben. I'm Bailey. And I'm Urse. Stay groovy. Hail to the king, baby. That's it? That's the best you got? Yeah. Oh, that sucks.
Uh, All right. This movie was so stupid. So yeah, right. Michael uh, said we need to have an intervention for Tyler <laughs> because of the Mario sale, Brothers. They suggest them to me. I can't turn it down. You should, though. Why are you getting Paracord? They were, they were 250 a piece. <laughs> no, no, no. Par- paracord is one of those things you should have an unlimited supply of. It's useful for everybody. You oh, already we- have a record for owning the most copies of that DVD. Man. Oh, my God. There's we need to see. On the we planet that we need to see. You do. Yeah, we need to find that. I. Yeah, because yeah. I'll bet you do. Yeah, I I bet there was a guy I remember like reading years ago that was uh he lived in like a bus like he bought like a one of those uh, old it. like um one of those old pasture buses like a, a city bus. Uh huh. He bought one. And he was touring the country, buying uh every VHS copy of Speed he could find. Jesus, <laughs> that's what he was doing. That was like his thing. You like, know what? We're in the country. Going, he was going across the United States, <laughs> buying every VHS copy of Speed. He, he was I like mean, trying to get every VHS. Oh, copy there of are better excuses to take a a, a cross country road <laughs> trip. Man. And, well, I will say this in his, in his defense: there is something to be said about attainable goals. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Well, I remember like he was. I remember like reading an article about it somewhere, and it was like a, an article was getting shared around stuff. So people were like sending him to his PO box. He had a PO box up. People would send him VHS copies of Speed <gasps> to kind of help with the cause. So he was. Ty, that's what we should do for you. Ooh. I want a VHS copy of uh, Super Mario <laughs> Brothers. I tell oh. Evan that every, every time we go to like thrift stores, that's like I'm trying to find. I want a VHS copy of Super Mario Bros. And a VHS copy of Beetlejuice, and I can't find it. Those are my two white whales. The VHS mm. of Beetlejuice actually makes sense. Yeah, I kind of like to have that. I what got about VHS copy. of Jaws? Uh, I don't. I never really liked the covers of them because, like, the <laughs> I guess that's fair. they would always put like when it would get released, it'd be like a re-release, and it would always have like some like shitty like Universal Greatest Hits or something. Well, what about song. but but then your white whale would be like an OG release, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it'd be like a OG copy if I could find one. I remember I used to have it on VHS when I was a kid, but it was like a re, uh, re-release they did in the er- in like the late '90s, and it was like a um, computer-generated cover instead of like the, the painted cover. Yeah, it was like a real slick-looking like CGI mm-hmm. shark on the cover. And I hated it. <laughs> We're talking about uh, Terminal Invasion. Yeah. All right, here we go. We have oh, to. I, have, I have a I have a badass copy of. Uh, Christmas Vacation on VHS. That's beautiful. Oh, like Christmas that, Vacation. It, that would, that's a that, good one. That cover art on that movie is that, beautiful. And it's like a pristine copy. That's Christmas Vacation is one of those ones. If you grew up in the 90s and you went to a movie rental place, you know that poster. Mm-hmm. That poster was up all the time. Yeah. Especially on like Channel One. 